Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going over five game changers in my beauty routine. So if you want to know what those are, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Really excited for today's video. It is a collab with my friend Yachty Beauty here on YouTube. Now, if you've never heard of Yachty Beauty, she is an up and coming, mostly luxury channel. So she focuses on luxury makeup, but she also has been getting into indie brands, just pretty things, you know? She likes pretty things. She likes glittery eyeshadow. She likes colorful makeup. Makeup, but she can also get down with some good neutral makeup as well my kind of girl so I have really been enjoying her channel and it's really exciting because she's actually currently in the middle of 12 days of collab that's kind of like her vlogmas if you will and I'm very honored to be one of those 12 collabs and that's really what I love about Yadi. she came in to build a community for us crazy luxury makeup lovers I feel like a lot of us we come to this platform because we don't have a lot of people in our real life Life that share the same love that we have her channel is definitely a great place to hang out so make sure you guys go and check out her channel I have been asked if I was doing some sort of vlogmas all that I can't commit to it <laughs> I can't I don't want to have you guys be disappointed when something comes up and I can't upload a video you know I do have a full-time job as a teacher and a lot of times there's a lot of last-minute things and things that take longer than expected a lot so I don't want to commit to that but I am definitely trying to upload up my amount of uploads this month. It's a really fun month. I think a lot of people are excited to be online watching a lot of videos and I do want to be a part of that. Jose, my husband, a lot of you guys have noticed he's been editing my videos lately. Not all of them, but he's been doing a big chunk of them. It's really been a huge time saver. He is the reason that I am able to upload so often this month. So thank you so much to Jose. I think I'm editing this video, which sucks because he's a really good video editor and I do the bare minimum so whenever the editing is not very good you know i edited it <laughs> so anyways that's just that i wanted to update you guys on that let's get into my game changing products there was a lot of products i feel like i could have chosen that i absolutely love that i would consider game changers when i really looked at at it. I actually decided that I wanted products that made other products work better. These are the guys where maybe they might not stand out alone, but they just make my beauty routine easier because they make the products around them work better. So we will start off with the first item that is not a makeup product, but it makes my eyelashes look better, it makes my mascara work better, and it just makes my looks look better. So for the last year, I want to say almost a year and a half, I have been using New Lash Lash Enhancing Serum. Now this is a baby size because these are expensive, so I try to use every little ounce of product I can get. I've been through a few normal size tubes, so don't worry. But how it works, you'll see it has just a thin brush and every night before I go to bed, I align it along my upper and lower lash line. And this really does make your eyelashes grow. I really got the Asian gene when it comes to lashes. Very short, very, very sparse, very, very thin. My lashes have never looked better. Now, I'm not saying, you know, my lashes made a complete 180. I have these short, sparse lashes. They're still on the shorter and more sparse side, but the fact that you can even see my lower lashes when I wear mascara is truly a win. Now, these don't necessarily make my lashes thicker, but they really do help in the length department. I do think, though, it did make my lower lashes a little bit thicker, and, you know, I'm not gonna get these amazing results because I don't have any Thing to work with but the fact that I can even apply mascara to my lower lash line now is a huge win it's made a huge change in my beauty routine and the way that my lashes look and your lashes do stop growing to a certain point and you have to keep using this to keep it up and just to keep that growth up I don't care I love it it's made a huge change in my lashes been a complete game changer in my beauty routine. Highly recommend it. It's a bit pricey, but I love it. 
All right, so now we're gonna move on to a complexion product that changed the game for me. I tried it this year. I'm so impressed with it. And I don't like this product on its own, but again, it's a product that makes other products work better. And that is the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. So how it works basically is it is a skin tint. So on its own, you can apply it. It gives a really dewy look to this skin. It gives a very, very slight tint. I wasn't that huge of a fan of it. Then I started making Mixing it with other foundations and that is when I realized what a game changer to my routine this was so today I ended up using it with the milk makeup flex foundation stick I love this foundation stick but the room that I'm in is very cold and this is a little bit more stiff to begin with so this is a harder product to work out than it ever has been before put a couple drops of this on your face blend it in with the product, suddenly your stick foundation blends out seamlessly. It really thins out the Hourglass foundation stick as well. That one is a bit too thick for me. This just makes it look so much more skin-like and natural. I'll mix this into a full coverage foundation that doesn't have a lot of moisture in it, that's very drying. I just feel like this enhances foundations to apply easier and to look better, and it really nourishes my dry skin. So for me, this has been a complete game changer to my routine. Moving on to the next one this is not really that exciting but I do get asked a lot what glitter glue I use because glitter glue is a game changer if you've never used glitter glue for your eyeshadow lid color you need to jump on that I am using the Too Faced shadow insurance and how it works basically is I probably need to get a new one it's just a really sticky base and I believe when I was filming using this I didn't press record so I'm just gonna give you an example right now I suggest using a glitter glue under shimmers and glittery shades I'm gonna show you the difference so I am wearing right now the blue shade from the Wayne Goss pearl moonstone so here is pearl moonstone without a glitter glue I think the glitter glue dried hold on I applied too little so I want you to take a look at the difference this is on top of glitter glue this is not on top of glitter glue so much more metallic every single particle of pigment and glitter is gonna stick to your eyelid and it's gonna make everything look that much more vivid and don't feel like you can just use this with glittery shades because it is called a glitter glue regular shimmers as well really great if you want a cut crease without having to go through the concealer you can lay down some glitter glue instead and every particle of that pigment is going to stick on there so the color is going to be much more vibrant and the finish is going to be much more shiny. I don't necessarily say that you need to have the Too Faced glitter glue. I've heard great things about the NYX glitter glue as well. I've heard it's basically the same thing. I've never tried the NYX glitter glue so I can't speak on that so I'm going to recommend the Too Faced because I know how well it works. If you're feeling like your shimmers are a little bit dull, use a glitter glue. I think it's a little bit more reliable than a wet brush. I I think it's easier to work with, so glitter glue is a must have for shimmer and glitter lovers. I have an eyeliner here that has been a game changer for me, and I've used this eyeliner for years. This is one of my first eyeliners, but I do have more hooded eyelids, and what video did I film? I filmed a video this week where I said I had hooded eyelids, and the amount of people telling me I didn't have hooded eyelids was incredible. I do have a natural shadow right here because of where my bone is so it looks like all of this is an open eyelid but my lid gets covered I'm just lucky to have the shadowing that I do anyways that's beside the point I have a hooded eye this does not transfer I'm really smart and totally forgot to tell you what it was called Mac black track fluid line a classic a classic I use this on my clients as well when I do bridal makeup. This is the only liner that I use because all the other ones that I've used, I felt like they've transferred as well. And if you've never tried a pot eyeliner, I feel like I have so much more control with application. As much as I love a liquid liner, I feel like I can get a precise wing with a gel pot. I just have much more control. If you're looking for a brush recommendation, I've used the MAC 210 for years as well. It's just perfect, especially if you have smaller eyes like I do. Very precise, you get the best looking wing. And if you like how black a liquid liner is or you find that this does transfer on you, line out your wing or your eyeliner first with this and then go over it with a liquid liner or whatever formula you prefer because I feel like nothing applies or looks better as far as shape and placement than when I use this pot gel liner. 
Seriously. <laughs> okay, so now we are on to the last and final product. It is a lip liner and Pat McGrath Labs contour has changed the game for me. Now, there's a couple other lip liners that have a similar color. Alamar Cosmetics Dulce is one that's the exact same color, if not very close. And then Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. All three of those are gonna be very similar to this one. I just find myself grabbing for Pat McGrath more because I feel like this is just as creamy as the other ones, but it lasts a little bit longer. So this is basically a cooler toned medium brown and I often wear cool shadows. I wear warm shadows as well, but I find this to be a very universal shade. You can wear it with a warm look or a cool look, but it especially looks really good with a cool tone look. And it really does define the lip and makes your lips look bigger just given the nature of the shade. It's a natural contour shade. Right now, all I did was define the outsides of my lips and I have have this basically sheer gloss from Tower 28. This is the shade Oat right on top. And my lips look nice, big, defined, and juicy. I love it. I love this lip liner. It doesn't go anywhere. Best of the best, best color. It goes with so many different lip colors also. And even if it doesn't necessarily match the lip color that I put over top, it acts as a shadow, which that is like a Scott Barnes trick, but it really does make your lips look bigger. So I love that. It carries products well. It really takes your lips up to the next level. All right, you guys, there we have it. Those are my five game-changing beauty products products that I absolutely love. I've used the majority of these for years. I constantly grab for them. A lot of them are staples in my routine and I use them so much, if not every day. Make sure you guys go check out Yadi's channel to see what her game-changing products are and subscribe to her channel. I'm telling you, you will love it. She's an up-and-coming channel. I can't wait to see her continue to grow and grow. That is all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you would consider taking the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next one. I guess have a good one.